this way as well. Okay. And we're off again. Yes. Right. Right, okay. guys. Uh, as you heard on that on that last one, the uh, the gentleman in Christchurch was saying about the uh, the earthquakes. Um, we've had one recently in uh, Indonesia. Was it on a tsunami warning? Yes, we did this morning. Yes. Um, uh, and it wasn't that long ago that we've been having quite a few little ones in this country. Uh, is it Neil? Is it possible that? Things like that could be making sp spiritual activity happen more often. Yeah, you're back on again. Um, yeah, um, I mean, you've all heard about ley lines and, and energy that comes from the ground and, and even energy that comes from trees and buildings. And, you know, we're surrounded by energy. So if you yeah. get a shift in that energy, yeah. you know, you could get an influx of energy coming from the ground from an earthquake. That, mm. That's huge, you know. Yeah. So th that, that could completely do one or two things it will either boost you or yeah. do the complete opposite where you completely block you. Yeah good it, it, it's not just spiritual you've got the earth natural energy that yeah. in floods as well That's right. which yeah. can which can cause a lot of uh, varying symptoms on, on sensitives and mediums. Of course it can. Yeah. Of course it can. I mean, it's a bit like the electrical field. You know? Yeah I'm, I'm not I'm not saying it is the case but uh, Neil's been feeling a bit Sue's been feeling a bit icky dick of late uh, I'm feeling a bit nauseous. Yeah, I've not been so, too uh, good for the past couple of days, I'm afraid. This, all this extra energy can do that, can't it? Of course it can. Yep. Yeah, it, it can throw you. Like I say, it could, it could have a negative effect on you yeah. or a very positive effect on you. Right, uh, also, uh, as you saw just now, Paul was asking about <laughs> doing it in various places like underwater. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go underwater and do it, <laughs> uh, on, unless I was searching for Jack Cousteau. Oh, I missed um, that bit. But no... Um, I mean, I'm happy doing what I'm doing. I mean, we did have uh, a, a bit of a thing underground, didn't we, at Drake Low Tunnels? Yes, Drake Low Tunnels, a lovely place. Uh, where we went for a mad dash, didn't we? Um, yes, we were, we were chasing <laughs> the spirit all, all over the place because he was leading us to one spot yeah, um, to show us a swastika. Yeah. <laughs> um, we've got Ghost Hunter on. Uh, yeah, but then he said, what, what about in a, in a submarine? <laughs> In a submarine. Yeah. Uh, we didn't get into that, did we? Well, we didn't get in one, did we? But we, we've just done one. No, they wouldn't we? let us in. Um, yeah. Uh, in a submarine underwater, I think he means um, that would that would really test you because you would be in an unnatural um, atmosphere, wouldn't you? You'd be, you'd, if you understand what I'm saying, you'd you'd, you'd be contained, yeah, um, somewhere where you would be locked away from energy, really. But but doesn't wouldn't wouldn't the movement of the water create energy as well? Um, possibly, yeah, but because you're in an airtight container, yeah, really. Uh, and it's, it's a false atmosphere. Um, it it could possibly slow down what you're getting. But would you, would you give it a go if you had the oh, opportunity? Of course, yeah, of course I would. Of course I would. Nice one. Yeah, I mean it's, it's a test. <laughs> yeah, and we we've got to test ourselves a limit. Just to um, let you know, um, uh, Ghost Hunter has turned around and said that he was watching, but it's mediumship, and he yeah. he believes in, um, I believe in watching and observing rather than talking about something I don't specialise in. So yeah. he's not being ignorant. No, 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 not at all. Okay. No. Um, and uh, before that, I heard, saw something else too. He also says lots of ions equals low ac low activity. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, exactly. And yeah. That's, again, it's down to energy, you know. Right. Um, I'm going to get to that in a minute, uh, Nic Nicola. I'll spot on that in a sec. Um, Paul said um, it's even been done. Was wondering about submarines. There was something else. Oh yeah, um, sunken wrecks. Has it ever been yeah. done? He was wondering it, about yeah, sunken wrecks. Sunken wrecks. Is I think I think a couple of people have actually gone along um, in the, the the salvage vessel mm. um, and, and they've used things like dowsing rods and things like that to to locate. Um, which is quite interesting to me because it, I mean, being on a on a ship, you're still out in the open air, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Um, and obviously, you you pinpointing a wreck. You mm. know, it's, it's a bit like the a bit like a psychic detective for yeah. for the navy. You know, really. But yeah. uh, it's interesting. It's all yeah. interesting. I'm just wondering um, if there is any psychics that have actually gone on that Titanic tour that's on its way to America. Possibly. Yeah, never know. Yeah, they're yeah. going to work to the place where it actually sank, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Right, I'm going to ask you a question now. Um, 
Nicholas just touched on it. I've got it on there to ask. Nicholas says, what's Neil's views on the Ouija board and does it believe <laughs> in the ZZ, whatever that means? I won't say the name just in case. Does does he believe in the ZZ? Um, I, I, top? <laughs> ZZ Top, yeah, I do, yeah. But yeah, um, what is your theory on Ouija boards? We've okay. had a lot of that in our group. We haven't have, we? haven't we? Um, we, ha we do have p people in our group that's not keen on using them and we don't force people. We have got one. We've hardly used it. But when uh, we have, nothing's happened. Spirit board demon. Yeah, spirit board demon, she said. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, um, but saying that... I know what she's on about. You know what she's yeah. on about because it's demonology again. <laughs> Sharp but dress, what I'm saying is... Um, <laughs> When we've been out on investigations ourselves, we've had a lot of people who say, oh, why won't you use the Ouija board and all this, that yeah. and the other. And our theory at first was, okay, you need to know how to open and close yeah. it, okay. number one. Um, but it is all about silliness, really, isn't it, it? it? It is all silly. I mean, if you look at glass divination, that, mm -hmm. that is the Ouija board. There's yes. no different. You're using no. the same energy, you're using the same motion, and you're picking up on the same spirits, mm -hmm. okay? The thing with the Ouija board is you're getting more information. Yeah. Glass divination will get a yes or a no answer, and that, that's what you're stuck with. Mm. Whereas the Ouija board, you can ask anything you want. Yeah. Okay, so it's more open. Now, the the myth on the Ouija board and, and spirit demons and, and you know what you're saying there is, is yeah, it's true. But it, it goes back to silly teenagers who are drunk uh, yeah. on drugs and, and various other things, and they're, they're opening up the Ouija board mm. and they're just bringing in low energies well, who true. are targeting them. You know, There's a lot of people who've said, oh, when I was a kid, I played with yeah, it, you know. Exactly. Which is what it is. Well, it's it's naivety, it's true. isn't it? Of course it is. Yeah. Of course it is. Um, and, and that's where it So you know on. what this Zozo is, do you? I know what the ZZ is, yeah. Well, yeah. she <laughs> says, I'll say it Zozo. Right, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, yes, there are very low entities who, who will come through and harm us, you know, mm -hmm. and... and I mean, I've done a lot of in, in that work, and you know, on, on physical. Oh, of course they can. Yeah, yeah, we get deviants, we get shapeshifters, and mm. there's there's lots of stuff out there. And and the main sort of signs for them coming through is they pick on children. Yeah. Because yeah. that they are the target, you know. Yeah, Andrew WP, which I think is Wigan Paranormal, uh, wouldn't energy permit permit matter, for example, electricity conducting through water. If I've read that right, for me. Where's that? This one here. Right, wouldn't wouldn't energy permeate matter? E.g. electricity conducting through uh, water. I, th I think it's going back to when you've been underwater oh, in, uh, back in the submarine. In the submarine. Yeah. Um, uh, possibly, but what you've got to think about is in a submarine you're airtight and you're in a false atmosphere. Mm. You, you you're under pressure, mm. you know, and it's it's very very high air pressure uh, between you and the water outside. Yeah. You know. Um, so I I don't know. I've never been in a submarine. I've never tried it in a submarine. I, I do know the difference between, um, it, you know, how deep you're going in the submarine and, and air pressures and things like that. Um, whether that would affect mediumship, I don't know. I've never tried it. Right, we've got two questions here. One says it's from Paul, but he said it's an Ian question by the looks of it. <laughs> can I, right, Go Santa said, which is Ian, he said, can I ask how, well, 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 well done a minute, it jumped up. <laughs> yes. Can I ask? How he feels about tech mediumship work, backing up med mediumship with tech evidence. Yeah. Um, and Paul said, if it's done with a medium, who knows? Did that just jump too far? No, sorry. Uh, who knows the difference? Vibrations, vibrations and it's safe. safe. Okay. Um, I think I know where they're going with that. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I, I was tested many, many years ago at uh, John Moore's University. Yeah, you said, didn't um, you? And they, they spent a couple of days doing various things with, with brain scans, and they hooked me up on this machine I think I had about 25 wires stuck to my head and um, and I understand that they got you know a, a lot of evidence through on on what they were doing you know that they couldn't explain it was unexplained to them but being scientists as you know scientists just they sit on the fence with everything and, and they try and sort of put put it all down to scientific matters and scientific ways um, so I'm all for um, being backed up with tech, you know, and if anybody wants to test me, I'm always open to that. You know? So, yeah, I do believe in it, and I do yeah. believe there should be a lot more going on, really. Yeah. I, I, I'm not sure he actually means from a testing. I, mean, right. I think he means working in condition with, with tech work. So it's, it's the same thing, Steve. So one what, backs up the other. Yeah, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is we, we need a lot more of that out there because we need to back up the evidence. I mean, anybody can sit there and say, right, I'm getting this through and I'm getting that through. Without the evidence, we don't know whether that's right or wrong. Yeah. You know? Now, 
you, you know yourself some of the evidence that I've given it, it would be completely impossible for me to know you know if, if we go back to that place up in Matlock yeah. yeah where that evidence was un, under lock and key and it's never been passed to anybody else yeah and, and that guy was trusted with that evidence and yeah. I come out and I told him what was in there you know that, yeah. that to me is, is good evidence yeah you know <laughs> yeah we all thought we, we all thought you were taking the mick at the time, and it turned out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. yeah, yeah. We thought you we thought you were pulling the Derek there, <laughs> doing a rerun of Derek. Yeah. And, um, Poor old Derek. Yeah. Before we <laughs> go into that, there was a question yeah. here: too much water would dilate yeah. energy. Yeah. Um, I, I think he's relating back to the submarine yeah. again. Yeah. You said too much water, water would dilate, dilate the energy. energy. Yeah, I pr he possibly um, could do. Yeah. Would need a rich, rich sponsor. I don't know where that would. Yeah, be. we would actually, Paul. Yeah, yeah that would be fun. Um, mine about boards. I don't know what that meant. Uh, it, he was saying his his question was about the board. Right. Okay. Sorry about that, Paul. But um, Ghost Hunter, he's the guy that's got the van and all the techie stuff that I would. Yeah, very techie about. minded. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, but uh, going back to the theatricals. Yes. What What's your opinion on that? And okay, Derek is. <laughs> he's a lovely I, guy. I will I will say one. I I do know Derek. Yeah. Um, and and. I know Derek from many, many years ago, from, from when he used to have his radio show, um, before he got into Most Haunted. And, and I think it's a complete shame that he's actually gone along and done what he did. Yeah. You know? But on the other hand, <laughs> what, what they did to him was, was pretty poor. To be <coughs> he, he is a good medium, I'll give him that. But, but what he did under contract, and he had to do it, mm. what he did under contract was, was completely beyond me. Because if that had been me, I would have ripped the contract up in front of them and said, "Well, that's it. Fair yeah. I'm not doing it. it. It's beyond my ethic. It's beyond my code, you know." Um, but he went along with it and he done it, and that, that's his own fault. So, yeah. But he is a good medium when he when he's when he puts it, you know. Yeah, because some people they it. look at that theatricals and they think, "Oh, fake." It, it is. You know, it and is. that's the way they look well, at yeah. it. Um, well, the, the way I look at that, when you've got two thousand people in front of you, you've you've got to I'll hold it together. Shot. So you've yeah. got to put. Yeah. Um, I mean, Nic Nicholas says that uh, Derek was a brilliant medium in the early days. Yes, he was, yeah. Um, Vinnie, Vinnie says Kat can't get on, but she wants to go out with you. Say again. Kat says she can't get on the chat, but she wants to go <laughs> out with you. Mary <laughs> loves Dick. <laughs> <laughs> she knows exactly what we were talking Mary about. Mary loves Dick. exactly what we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that was the rerun, yeah. 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 Uh, that, then you tune That's what the Neil power. got, and, and it turned out to be true. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then you tune into the power as it is a matter, sub-matter. Is it a matter or sub-matter? Is it matter or sub-matter? Can you uh, reiterate on that, Paul? Where are you going with that? Yeah, the one about the sub-matter or matter, please, Paul. Can you um, rephrase it? Um, you know, break it down a bit. <laughs> oh, cat wants a wave. Hang on. Am yeah. I... No, oh, there we go. Yeah, there you go. I don't even know <laughs> where she can see you. Yeah. Uh, she can't get on chat, apparently. All oh, right. So can she hear us? But I've Probably got, not. I've got, I've got a theory. I don't know about ev everybody else out there. Uh, I, I, I'm sure to the religious mind, it won't strike too much of, of a good part. But uh, I'm a feeling that when we, when we actually pass, our spirit actually, actually joins this big ball of energy, okay. and <laughs> and what we're actually, actually doing as, as mediums and sensitive. Uh, is that we are, we're actually linking into that ball of energy? Okay. How does that fit with yourself? Um, again, it's a hard one. Um, there is a huge energy source up there. I mean, I'm not a religious person. I don't yeah. Like, I don't like religion, as, as you know. I'm, yeah. I'm against religion. Mm -hmm. um, I I believe in what I believe and, and the evidence I've seen and been shown and the evidence I've spoken to with guides and, and people. You know who who have died and, and and come and spoke to me. You know, there's so much experience that I've got with that that it's just completely thrown me away from religion. Completely, you know, th uh, that's it. Yeah. Um, but I do believe that there is an, an upper um, energy force that regulates everything that's going on. I don't believe it's one person. I do yeah. believe it's a collective. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. We we all go to that one we, source. We we all we are all linked into that one source anyway. Yeah. Mm. It, it's an automatic thing, you know. You have to be, and yeah. it's a universal mind. It's it's got to be a universal mind. 
Right, Paul's come back. The power is all round us and yep. universal, so everything is connected at an atomic level, and mediums have the ability to tap into it. Okay. Well, we, uh, we just spoke That's about that. Really. Yeah. <laughs> I have so many theories running around my head. Are you psychic, Paul? <laughs> Ghost it, 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 it is actually, yeah. And I could apply them to mediumship, but wouldn't wouldn't be able to text fast enough. Lol. There is a lot of skepticism about it. There's, there's there? yeah. Um, the amount of skeptics I come against is, is unreal, yeah. and you, and you know yourself. Some people have come, mm. you know, with us, and and they've said, you know, I completely, I don't believe in it. And I've always said, well, why why are you here? Yeah. If you don't believe in it that much, why why are you here? Yeah. Why are you? You know. Doing this? Yeah. But at the end of the night, they've always gone away. I believe now. Mm. You know, and, and it, it just changes. Just that little bit of evidence it changes them. But there is a lot of sceptical out there because, again, going back to the fakers and the showmanship and the self gainers and the money makers ruining it for everybody else. Yeah. That's where all this skepti skepticism comes from. Yeah, so I mean, I've just had a message, and, and I'll just yeah. let you read it on my yeah. phone, basically, oh, yeah. from a lady I did a reading from. Yeah. And she actually said, no, I didn't believe at first that what you told me was going to come true. But now it has. So now I'm looking forward to my next reading. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Which is in a couple of weeks. Exactly. Um, Nicola said she gets that all the time. I don't try and change their views. I just say, yeah. well, when you die, you can say I'm right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm yeah. hoping that it, happens. It's, it's yeah. my old saying, you know, take it or I leave mean, it. You know? My biggest enjoyment when we, do, when we do an invest is to see people walking out actually thinking about what happened. Yeah. And they've come in going, nah. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, like the big guy said, I'm not scared. <laughs> and, and he nearly jumped through the roof. <laughs> yeah, uh, Ian wants to know, have you heard of Philip Solomon? Uh, He's brought this up a couple of times. I'm, I'm name not. rings a bell. I'm not. Yeah, he I'm was talking familiar. about it yesterday, wasn't he? Hmm. Name rings a bell. So, is he a medium then, Ian? Is he? Or is he a... Vinny on his Yoda. Hmm. Mm, now he's going to confuse me, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, he, he was. He, he was saying, "Is it like Star Wars, The Force?" He's a very special um, one. Probably Star Wars. Uh, probably Yoda is based on medium <laughs> shit. A very special medium is that, um, Ian, or is that special yeah. one? As in, I yeah. thought that was Mario. Whatever. What was his name? Marino, he's a special <laughs> well, one. Yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's a medium that that he's Ian really, uh, really, uh, really believes in. Cause he, only different in your mind. And, and, he, and he does that because he got a reading and there was nothing, like Neil said earlier. If you don't you, get you, it, you, you give stuff that yeah. nobody else knows. Yeah. So. Um, there is so many mediumship messages in the movies. Do spirits have a free will, or, as we say, do no on now on earth, as, they, as we do now on earth? Do they have free will? Um, no, we no, they don't. Um, and, and that's one of the big things that I worked on um, was what do we actually do when we go on? You know, what what do we do when we pass on and, and go up into the spirit world? Do we do we do stuff up there? Do we just walk around and and, and come through and give messages? I believe there's a transition. There's there? there's there's lots of transitions, you know, and you work your way up, um, you know, the old steps. But we are actually up there to help people. That that is one of the tasks, mm. you know. And you know, um, we're given different tasks to to go out and help people. We we could actually come back, you know, uh, in in another life, to come down and and either be with somebody or give somebody um, something that they need, or to to regrow ourselves, or to go through something that we missed in the first life. You know, so many different things that we've got to do up there. It's it's not just a case of, you know, what what they they show on the movies. You know, it's it's there's nothing like that. You know. Yeah. Don't worry about Cat Paul. She's uh, <laughs> she's um, <coughs> she's got a very short attention span. She said that last week. Don't yeah. worry about it. <laughs> yeah, she's a really big laugh. Uh, on, on what you what you just said there, Neil, uh, is that a matter of opinion? Because I've I've heard Derek say that once once you pass over, you can you can do what you want. If you want to go on this cruise cruise <laughs> yeah. when you was alive, you can go on one. Nice thought, I suppose. If if Derek's guide has told him that, then that's his belief. I'm afraid, you know, and I can't so I can't question that. So it's, so it's all down to I, the belief. I, I, personal only, belief then. I only know what I've been told and what I've been shown, and mm. you know, and I I frequently, when I do the physical side, I frequently go up there. 
Yeah. You know, and I don't see it all, but I see little bits, you know. But mm. Yeah, but doesn't that say then that it's a belief system? Well, it is. It's all a belief system, isn't it? Really. Yeah, but what if, say, let's just say, for instance, right, you believe that, I don't know, Derek believes that you can go on cruises. Yeah. You believe you can go. Well, Derek goes on cruises anyway with all the money he makes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's yeah. that's. Derek, well, Derek's got yeah. his own opinions, you know. And but yeah. am I right in thinking we all have lessons? I know it's I've heard it before in the churches, but we are learning lessons as we go yeah. along, aren't we? Um, we're we're down here to 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 learn the basic lessons that we need to 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 learn to go up there because we've got. A, there's so much that we have to learn on righteousness and and beliefs, as you like, you know, and mm. and we're given obstacles along the way, yeah. you know, um, that we have to either go over, go under, go round, mm. you know, and if we make that wrong decision, go over something when we're supposed to go round it, yeah, we're, we're giving it back again, you know, in, in the vicious circle. Right, just to um, just to ask one more question on that, we're going to take another break in a minute. Um, Otherwise, we're going to run out of time with things, and I want people to ring up if possible. Um, I was told at my last Mind, Body, and Spirit show yeah. that there, oh, there's always been about past life regression. Okay. Now, I don't know whether you believe in that or not, yeah. but there's a theory that if you hold your your hands, your yeah. thumbs, so to speak, I'll show you in a minute, um, and you count the lines, yeah. that's how many past lives you've had. Okay. Is What's your theory on that? My theory on palmistry is is very high. That was a past life. Uh, my person. belief on palmistry yeah. is very high, and I'll tell you why. Yeah. They they tested palmistry scientifically, mm. and it was in a scientific magazine that was released many yeah. many years ago, and they tested a hundred dead people, okay, and and got all their past history and everything together. Uh -huh. uh, they got the palm readers in to read the palms and note down what what they think they they picked up on the palms. Yeah. And then they got all the, the, the stuff collated and everything ran true. Everything right. that was on the palm happened in their life, you know? Okay, I'll right. see if I can right. do this right. for you so you can see what I'm doing. Well, yeah, what, what, right what you're trying to show that. Uh, Nicholas says, uh, whenever we've done glasswork uh, and we bring up heaven or hell, communication stops. Oh. Are we not supposed to... Uh, we are not supposed to know. It, it depends. Um, it, it's a hard question to ask on heaven and hell because they don't want you to know. Yeah. You know, I my belief it isn't. There's, there's not a heaven and hell. Mm. I, I do believe that there is lower energy, higher energy, and and I do believe that if you're a bad in in this life, you go to a lower energy um, no. spectrum. Yeah. Where you know you've you've got to learn life's lessons again. Right, okay, well, well, as I say, we'll take a quick break, um, if you can guess, we're going to go for the uh, par paranormal events for you, okay? And we'll be back in a bit. Fed up of wading through the activities and events that other advertisers include? Find just what you're looking for at paranormaleventsforyou.com your one-stop paranormal directory. On the 13th of the 4th, is it haunted or after the Regent Cinema in Leven, that's in Scotland. On the 14th of the 4th, UK Shadow Seekers are after the South Yorkshire Air Museum in Doncaster. Also on the 14th, Haunted Worlds are going to the Guild Hall in Stockport. On the 28th of the 4th, UK Shadow Seekers are off to Brand Castle in Brasov, Romania. There is still a few places left if you'd like to get on, but you'll have to be quick. Also on the 28th, Sixth Sense Paranormal are off to Rusin Jail in Rusin, that's in North Wales. And that's all the events for this week. So check out the One Stop Paranormal Directory for more investigations and events available now. ParanormalEventsForYou.com also offers banner advertising for only £10 per year. See our website for more details. ParanormalEventsForYou.com Your One Stop Paranormal Directory.
Yeah, welcome back to the KTPF. <clears throat> I'm Suzanne and this is Steve. And we're here live in the hub with our special guest tonight, all the way from Liverpool. Hi, I'm Neil Munley and I'm proud to be keeping the paranormal friendly. Yeah, this is Neil Munley. He's here with us live in the hub and uh, we'll be opening up the line soon. So that doesn't come over when you play it. Just now. Yeah, so uh, basically what we'll do is um, we're going to open the lines up in a sec. Uh, just to let you know, uh, Nicola, you just put your thumb over your palm, just stretch it over your palm, and you can just see down the side there. Um, if I can just, just put your thumb over your palm, and then that's what you're doing. That, apparently that's how many past lives you've had. Yeah, and, and if it's not a full line, it, it means you didn't live your full term on that one. Yeah, that's what we've been told by a past life regressionist. Okay, so uh, we're back with uh, Steve. Uh, Steve's got some questions to ask you about. What was it about, Steve? Yeah, I've, I've got a couple of things here. Okay. Um, first of all, uh, and Andy's, Andy's got a question that says, uh, can your guide be from a past life? Um, yeah, yeah. Your guide could be anybody that's, that's, Did you turn it on? that's passed on. Yeah. Can you hear ah, me? Okay? Is, yeah. yeah, sorry. Yeah, you've got a relay, haven't you? Um, sorry. Um, yeah, um, you, your guide could be anybody up there, you know, that that sort of you, you cling to, you know, or, or sent to you. So, yeah. yeah, it could be from past life. It could be anybody. So, did everyone try that then at, at home? How <laughs> yeah. many past lives have you had? Well, <laughs> Uh, apparently Nicholas very very wrinkly. <laughs> <laughs> Ian said blooming egg. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> yeah, if they're a bit short, that means you didn't actually last um, that long. But if you remember back in the old days, 35 was a long time. So, uh, you know. Um, right, Steve's got some questions regarding... What's it regarding again? Well, I've, I've got a list here of uh, the top ten signs that your house is haunted. Oh, right. Uh, okay. Uh, that's funny, actually, because um, I don't know whether somebody popped on and popped off again on the ghost chat on live stream, but they wanted to know how do you stop f things moving in your home. So we'll get back to that in a bit. Over to you, Steve. Right, uh, Go on, then. I'm, I'm still listening to the delay here. Uh, I've, I won't go through, read everything on this, but I'll just do, do the main titles because it'll take forever otherwise. Uh, my personal opinion is a lot of these could just be visitation rather than yeah. actually being haunted. Okay. Uh, strange smells. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, odd dreams of, of people and places you don't know. Um, it doesn't mean your house is haunted. So uh, you're saying yes to the smells? Yes to, yes to the, the smells, smells, yeah. And no to the dreams? No to it, the dreams. No, uh, no, not specifically, anyway. Not, not specifically, no, and I'll, I'll give you a reason for that in a minute. Okay. Uh, number eight. Feeling of being watched? Possibly. Uh, on the fence with that one. Uh, yeah. A lot of people get that sense anyway, and it's it's just uh, an automatic thing in the brain. Right. Okay. Uh, heaviness in the air. Uh, could be weather conditions. That, that yeah. could be weather. It could be atmospheric. It could be it could be spirit. Um, but it could be a mood swing that you're having. You know, it could be lots of reasons. So on the fence with that one, I'm afraid. Noises. Noises, yes, uh, possibly. Uh, keeping in mind, it could be it could be essential and heating. And it could be down floorboards, this, yeah. wind under the floorboards. Debbie knows about that, don't you, Debbie? Oh yes, Debbie knows about the heating one. <laughs> uh, changes in air temperature. Um, good question. Um, I would be more more towards yes on that. Right. Depending okay. on how sharp the temperature was, uh, uh, um, the right, temperature drop. It was, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, things moving around. I, th I think by that they mean things that have been moved from where you left them right and turned up somewhere else that again possibly uh if you've seen the move with your bare eye then yeah you, your better. house is haunted <laughs> yeah. uh, well, would i be right in saying that when things like that happen it's yeah. more likely to be a, a, a spirit of a child um child spirits tend to move um shiny objects and, and objects that would um Ooh. You know things like coins yeah. or um, anything that's well, shiny. That or, or my bag of crystals that went missing for. Or a bag of for crystals, about a maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They, they went missing for a week and turned up. Yeah, a lot, a lot of the stuff they take are things like jewelry. Jewelry uh, is a big thing with child spirits. If, right. if jewelry goes missing. Okay. Uh, number three, being touched. Well, again, I'd be more towards the yes on that. 
if if you it depends on how you're being touched. Um, yeah, I, I mean, if it's just a, you can move awkwardly and, and turn and not yeah. realise. And, and but you if you know, but if you know it's a proper touch, you know whether you've, you've had a slap on the head or the forehead or something. Yeah. Or uh, number number two, it says a sudden changes in mood and behaviour. That could just be personal. Um, you know, the brain's a funny thing, um, and it and it can change mm. moods very very quickly without you knowing. You know, it does a lot of things automatically. Your yeah, brain. but you've got no control over. Yeah, it. but low levels in spirits can cause that. Spirits sort of can, thing. yeah. yeah. Um, again, that's personal preference. You'd have to tune be, into that one. You'd have to be there, really, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would. Yeah. yeah. Uh, number one, of course, seeing is believing. Seeing is <laughs> believing. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Whilst he was calling them out, I'm just going to double go <coughs> back on some of these. Okay. Um, now, Andy has said that feelings of being watched. Yeah. Could be high EMF. Now, we went to see an old lady not far away from us. Yeah. Um, bless her. She, she'd lost her husband, just to give you an idea. Um, and uh, what had happened was um, she, she got us around there and she'd got her daughter around and her son-in-law and the next door mm. neighbour and she got the biscuits out. Corrie was on. Yeah. And uh, she reckoned that her husband had come back and was touching her and pushing her in the kitchen um, the one thing I didn't get was when she went to bed, it was lifting her nighty up, and she said he never right. done that when he was alive. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we, we went there and um, we had a look around. We found out that Dolphin had been in, not to mention, um, but Dolphin had been in. This there are other bathroom companies. There are, yeah, there are, other, <laughs> there are other bathroom companies. <laughs> so not just Dolphin. It's but <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, Dolphin had been in and what they'd done is they'd put the shower in and for some unknown reason they'd c uh, being technical you might know about this Ian uh, maybe or Jebby uh, what they'd done was that they'd put the earth wire down into the fuse box then took it back out again round the back of the fridge out the wall the outside wall underneath the doorstep of the back door back in the wall and connected it to the copper pipe the of the gas cooker and the EMF was off the chart. And to me, that was why she was feeling sick, being pushed. And, uh, you know, it, it, it can happen, yeah. can't it? Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, I mean, so just, yes. just going on ghost onto there, it causes the brain frequency pollution and causes the brain to become aware of it. So the hemisphere, that's yeah. correct. Um, yeah. If, if we go back to people who were schizophrenic, you know, that that's quite a high frequency in the brain of, of it messing about with this other hemisphere yeah. and that's what it is you know I mean, and yeah. people who have multiple personality disorders you know it's the same thing and it's very very similar and that's EMF can cause that yeah, uh, yeah. and he says uh, a fear cage right um, just before we go there going back to the EMF Nicola said where's she gone oh I've lost her now oh, there. Uh, where is she no that's cool blimey I've lost her I've got one from Vinny hang up two seconds let me Oh God! I keep well, losing it. So while you're looking, I'll read this one out for Vinny. Come on uh, then. Oh, there it is. It says I have a few times was when with a few people felt someone's missing, but hang on, where's it gone again? Up and down, I go yo-yo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go. And they realise that this could be someone visiting from another world, from another spirit world, or and then leaving. Could possibly. Yeah, um, stranger things have happened. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, that's, yeah, it's a possibility. But I'm quickly back to Nicola. She said, "Can't hire EMF give spirits more energy to do something though." <sighs> Again, the the two factors of of um, spirits coming through to our world are water and electricity. Yeah. Um, they're the two main things. So a lot. It's like when you get a haunting in a house. You'll find a lot of the times you'll find someone's messing around with the lights so you get flickering lights mm. or television being turned on or the taps would start running on their own or you know and that that's how they come through that's where their energy comes from you know and they gain energy from things like electricity and water yeah um so yeah emf a uh, high emf can help some spirits Ian come can through. talk about emf all night <laughs> I'll, I'll be quite honest with you guys i'm not i'm not a very techy person to be honest um, so some of these things, you know, you'd have to look up on. Um, 
don't don't just take it from me. <laughs> <laughs> so when the local nutcase down the street says the voices speak to her, yeah. it's because she's plugged into the mains. <laughs> <laughs> it, could, it could well be. Uh, it could be a, a hearing aids on too high or. You something. just never know. You've just got to check all the um, preliminaries. You've got um, to, yeah. There's a story in um, in the in a book called. Uh, hold on. Uh, a base. Pass me that book, please. Uh, the blue Guinness, no, Guinness pass, Guide to Paranormal Investigation. Pass it over, please. There's a book that's out. Yep, yep, yes. Rages. Show everybody. Right, and see if I can get it into camera. Oh, where are we? Up there somewhere. Jebby's probably laughing now. Yeah, this up, book. Up a bit. A bit more. If you haven't seen it there before, we go. there you go. Okay, it's a beginner's guide to paranormal investigating. It was written by Mark Rosney, Rob Bethel, and our very own <laughs> Jebby Robinson that's on the chat at the moment. And there's a little story in there, isn't there, Steve, about the um, the central eating. Um, apparently they yep. went somewhere, wasn't it, that uh, they were hearing certain things happening at a certain time and they just changed the timer on the central eating and it happened an hour earlier or an hour later. Yep. So, um, but yeah... Um, so anything like that, you really need to check the preliminaries, you yeah. know, and everything yeah. else. Ian said about buying Troy Taylor's ghost hunting guide. But, um, or Steve Taggart's ghost hunting guide. And, and Nicholas, can <laughs> look, uh, and Nicholas can have a look at that book there. Uh, I, 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 mind only little. Mind only little. Uh, I've got a question for, for you, Neil. Yeah. Uh, from his, Sorry about that. Uh, can anyone become a medium, or are some of us the destined? never to, to to get there no matter what we do my belief in that is it's it's not our choice um but we're all born with a gift um it, it's down to us or it's, it's our choice and what we do with that now we we can either enhance it and see where it goes um but it's not our choice on what where we go with it it's not our choice on whether we're able to be a medium you know and, and it's not our choice whether we've got enough energy or enough of that gift to become a medium, you know. Some people just basically get to get the sensitive side of it, you know. So it, it it depends, and it's not our choice. They people like me are chosen, um, and, and I'm not. I don't want to come across like I'm some kind of special guide. I'm not. I'm just a, an ordinary guy. But we are chosen on where our path goes in mediumship yeah. and clairvoyance and all, and all that. Loads of stuff that happens with spirit. Um, so that, that's out of our hands, I'm afraid. Right. Before, I, before I finish into that, can you tell Nicola what that book is? Yeah, I'm again? about to tell her again. Right, the book is called A Beginner's Guide to Paranormal Investigate, Investigation. Okay, um, <laughs> it says Amberly. That's just made me laugh. Paul said if it's American, it's poop. <laughs> it's not American. I promise you that. <laughs> um, it's written by the boys of Para Project, also from Spooks. Spook School, I'm sure you remember that programme. There you go. He, he, he was put the uh, the Amazon thing up for you. Yeah, uh, that's for Ghost Hunters Guidebook or something. Uh, yeah. yeah. But this is from the guys from Power Project, based in um, Liverpool area and Merseyside and, and around that area, Cheshire area. Is it, Jebby, where are you based? Um, and uh, it's got everything in there, from equipment... Well, it begins with W, doesn't it, where you live? Um, I'm not sure where he actually lives. Um... Uh, it's got everything. It's um, even got about um, EVPs, photo anomalies, cryptozoology, unidentified flying objects, um, bits of everything. It's just yeah. a beginner's guide and it's written by the guys. Is that set £9.74 in stock, is it, Nicola? That's what she says. So it says you've seen paranormal investigations on TV, but what is yeah, it like yeah. to do an yeah. investigation for yourself? Yeah. If yeah, you have. Check the book out. It says, if you have ever, ever looked to, long to conduct a ghost investigation, look for UFOs or find evidence of cryptozoological species roaming in the wilds, then this is the book for you. That's all I'm going to read, but good hunting. So uh, the paranormal, uh, the Power Project team is a team of three highly experienced paranormal investigators based in the northwest of England who investigate, advise, research and give presentations on all aspects of the paranormal. I'm sure you still do, don't you, Jebby? Are you still there, Jebby? Jebby, speak to me. Are you still there? Come back. Oh, he's, uh, he's offline now. Oh, typical. But never mind. But he's, uh, that's, um, 
that's what that's all about. So if you find it, it's quite a good book. It covers quite a few bits. Right, right to finish that, uh, my question off there, Neil, yeah. what, what is the best way to get started and maybe find out whether that's your road or not? Um, the, the, the first important point is meditation. Uh, meditation is the, the key to everything. Uh, if you get your meditation right, that's what you build everything on. That's your foundation. So mm. the, if you can master meditation, mm. then that will put you on your way to becoming, um, you know, going further on, mm. on down the line. You yeah. can build on that. Where it goes from there is, is not up to you. It, it's up to them upstairs. You know, uh, they 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 basically decide on on whether you. You're going to be clairvoyant or clairaudient, clairsentient, mm. or all of it. You know, it's yeah, it's it's, it's one of them things. I'm afraid so that you have to say, run with. They say it's best to to find a circle, whether that be within the yeah, church it, or but make or, sure you or, find or a medium. good circle. You know, yeah. and there's there's a lot there's a lot of rubbish out there. You know, and, and people are just setting up circles here, there, and everywhere. Yeah, that, and then they're not good enough to run a circle. Now you know? I I know a couple that are yeah not quite where they should be with that. Yeah. Um, you know, so you're coming away from that circle, and, and a circle should run for 12 weeks. Mm. You know, a, a basic circle should run for 12 weeks, no more than that, and, yeah. and then have a break. You know, and a lot of people are coming away from them 12 weeks with nothing. Yeah, you know, and nothing. It's, it's, it's crazy. Right, Absolutely I've got a double edged question for you here. Well, double double question. Nicola wants to know, uh, she said, I don't meditate enough. Do I have to do it every, every day? And no. Andy said he falls asleep when he meditates. Falling asleep's fine. Um, it, it puts you in a deeper, um, a, a deeper state. Um, what one thing that a lot of people don't know is when spirits come to help us, they actually come in our sleep, and they prefer to come in our sleep because they've got full attention from us, and everything's done subliminally, um, and and that's why a lot of people sometimes have trouble sleeping, um, and and I guess everybody who's on chat at the moment have all. You know, I bet all of you there on chat have had a feeling that somebody's been on the bottom of your bed and you've woke up and thought to yourself, whoa, has somebody been there? <laughs> Everybody's had that feeling, you know? Mm. And and that feeling is, is basically the spirit that's been with you. It's just their energy going back into spirit world, you know? Right. Our, our brains have an automatic wakening system, you know? And if somebody's around us when we're asleep, it'll wake us up. So do you have to do it every day? No, you don't have to do it every day. Um, I recommend three or four times a day and... and you know, you don't have to do it more than 15, 20 minutes. A day? Three no. or four times a no, day? No, 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 no. That's what you a, said. Week, oh, a week, A week. <laughs> right, okay. Um, and um, <laughs> do Paul, Paul first. said two questions in meditations. Okay. On, in meditation, do you use music? Quest, music. Question two, what is your is the favourite energy to feel? Oof. Uh, the second question is a bit hard. Uh, first question, med music is, is great um, because, it, one, it gets you in the mood. Two, it settles the brain quicker, mm -hmm. um, and you're not listening to to as much outside noise as what you would do without music. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and you're tuning into that music rather than tuning into other noises that are around you. So, so yeah, go with the music. Uh, the second question is: there's so many different energies that you can feel. It would be hard to put my finger. I mean, my my personal energy that I prefer to be around is is the bad stuff. Um, yeah, I, I love that stuff because it tests you. You know, and and the more bad stuff that I'm around, it's it's, it's great. <laughs> um, that that's just personal. But there's so much energy out there that you can feel that that, that are different. You know, it, right. it'd be hard to put an answer to that one, I'm afraid, Paul. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So the lines are so, open, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. If you'd like to ring up and speak to Neil, yeah. you can call us on 0844 414 3982 and speak to Neil live on the air. So if you want to do that. The uh, the phone is around somewhere. You should, you should have. Oh, it's here. Ago. <laughs> I've got the phone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So if you want to give us a call, do so. Yeah. Ian, Ian was saying that you you have to be taught to slow the brain down so you can stop it from bringing all the yeah, um, outside stuff in. It, if you do advanced me uh, advanced meditation, um, a lot of it's breathing and, and getting the breathing right. Now yeah. you've heard my breathing when I do physical. Yeah. Pip it, it's got to be. You've got to have the breathing right yeah. to, to yeah. be able to go into yeah. trance. I think your breathing scares most of the people before you get anything <laughs> through. <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> but that that's just, I mean, that breathing that I do, is, is it's got to be done, mm. you know, and, and, and to, to change the energies and everything else and the brain waves and everything else. So it's it's got to be done. But a, a lot of it's down to breathing. Um, and, and a lot of it as well is 
as, as to whether you can clear your brain mm. enough, you know, to, to shut down your brain enough. Mm. Yeah. So it's not thinking anything. So it's not thinking anything negative. It's not thinking anything positive. It's just, you know. And, and one of the exercises I used to do, well, there's two things that I used to do. When I first went into meditation, when I first started very, very, well, years and years ago, and that was imagine yourself facing a blackboard. Yeah. Or imagine yourself in a tunnel and there's no light at the end. Mm. You know, so you're just walking down a dark tunnel. And it's just to clear your mind, you know, and if you practice that, you'll get better at it. Yeah. I, I started uh, taking a board rubber to the black blackboard and wiping it clean. Anything like yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, again, it's personal preference. But yeah. You, the, one of the keys to meditation is being able to clear down yeah. the, the, your mind and your thoughts and yeah. your brain and everything else. Now yeah. I've been t told two things on guided meditation. I've been told one that guided med guided meditation is good. Yeah. But then again, I've also been told that um, if you're doing guided meditation, you're not doing your own okay. meditation. Yeah. So what's what's your theory? Between Depen the two? It depends on what you're getting guided into. Okay. Now. I mean, you've sat in one of my circles, okay? Yes. And when I do guided meditation, my guided meditation is very, very open. Yeah. So when I tell you to go somewhere in meditation, I'm not telling you where you are. I'm not telling you what your surroundings are. I'm not telling, telling you what you're seeing. No. I'm just telling you to go from A to B. Yeah. And then I'm telling you to do certain things that, you know, allows yeah. you to pick up your own things in that meditation yeah. that I need to pick up to see where you are, mm. okay? So it depends on what the guided meditation is. Some guided meditation will just run you through a load of old rubble that's not doing anything for you because it's telling you where to go, what to look for, what your surroundings are. You know, it's that's no good. So stick stick to it. If you right. want to stick to a guided meditation, stick to one that's fairly open, that's giving you your own decisions. Okay. Well, Paul said uh, there's a meditation storyboard on on there. Uh, we have a ma on here, I assume. It, uh, on there is a Da Vinci Code theme. With Sarah's voice. Sarah's voice. Um, Sarah's voice. Uh, yeah. Nicola said, I think I have very good p protection and ground myself well, but when on invest, uh, when I'm, but when on invest, sometimes, only sometimes, I still get spirit getting too close and affecting me. Is it just more meditation I need? No. What, what you've got to remember is, um, it, if you get new spirits in that haven't been around people before, they, they want to react with you. They want to interact with you, and they they want this, they want themselves to be known, mm. okay? So they, they'll come along, and they will pull about with you, and mess around with you, and touch you, and, yeah. and and do things to you. But they're just trying to get your attention. That's all that is. Okay, so we're not going to have any phone calls in tonight again. Yeah, come on, guys, get on the phone. <laughs> do you want a local rate number? <laughs> it's when it is a local rate number. Oh eight four four. Or if you want, you can ring up. I'm I'm just going to quickly yeah. answer that on yeah. psychokinesis I was about yeah. to give you that one um, yeah. um, from Dizzy okay the, the the brain again going back to the brain um, it, it's a very masterful thing and we only use 10% of it at, at one time um, and there's an old saying is that if we could use 100% of it at one time we'd be very very dangerous people uh, you know we'd be able to mind read and move things with the mind and, and various other things um, I, I think psych I think it can be done um, but I think, you know, we'd have to be very, very... It, it, it It's going to be a long, long time before any of that appears. Yeah. You know? Okay. Um, oh, dear, that that is wrong. That is wrong. <laughs> um, it's a wrong concept. Those have said. Shall I explain? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, go on. We've missed something here. <laughs> so, um, but... Um, Paul, it, if you want us to ring you, it's not a problem, yeah, love. It moves up so quick, this, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, but uh, as I say, um, if there is nobody who wants to call in, um, just keep asking questions on the chat. I think if you can learn to use the power and then train the theta, theta, it might be possible. Do deer eat antelopes? Do deer <laughs> eat... Do they? No. Do... do yes. Do antelopes eat, eat, eat chickens or something? Oh, no, I don't know. I've forgotten now where it's going. D H uh, do D H E D H do hens eat antelopes? That's it. Yes. Yeah, Sorry. it's just uh, ghost just said. Scientists once said that we only use ten percent. We we use ten percent at only one time. We do use the whole of the brain, but we don't use the whole of the brain a hundred percent at any one given time. 
Right, do do hens eat antelopes? D H E A. Now they say that when you're young, right, children do produce a lot of this D H E A. Yeah, it's some sort of hormone. But when you get older, it um, comes out. It basically it disappears out of the body. Um, but on this brain level, um, we're talking about alphas and thetas and betas and all that lot. It does put you into that 7.5 mode, which is where they say children can see spirit okay now um obviously when you get older you lose it so when you get older you can lose the gift so to speak um and then you can buy tablets to get this dhea back as well supplements but they do say the, excuse me the best way of getting dhea is to meditate you're on this 7.5 level which incidentally all your soaps eastenders um, <laughs> what do you call it um, Coronation Street Doctors no. and all that lot they all have um, put on on a 7.5 brain frequency yeah so that you don't realise but you're taking it in and you're yeah. in that zone yeah. it's the same with adverts that's why sometimes you remember them um, and uh, basically we were told that the more meditation you do the more you can produce yeah. to get this DHEA back which then reattunes you to spirit yeah. to being on that level to pick up um, spirits right. so do you go with that? Um <sighs> That that kind of thing, yeah. Okay, it, it it allows you to meditate better. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it's the meditation that's the key. It's not the hormone. Right. You know. Um. It it's a hard thing. You know. I mean, I'm not a scientist. I'm not no. a doctor. Or you know, don't don't intend to be. Um, you can buy it online. <laughs> Sixty thousand right now. But again, it it's a gimmick. Yeah. You know? And, and let's get rid of the gimmicks. Yeah. You know? And I say, because they do say that um, you have this DHEA when you're a child. Yeah. And they've always said that children can see spirits. Ch children are more susceptible. Yeah. Okay. And they're to saying because of, it's because of yeah. this hormone. Yeah. And because when it depletes um, and, dis and, and fades off, that's when they lose. Yeah, sense it, to see them. It, it, yeah. it is a natural, natural yeah. hormone. On a, on a scientific point of view, it's the hormones that's, that's giving yeah. them that frequency to be able to see that thing. And um, yeah, and there isn't mind clutter in the children. No, that's correct. And and obviously when they get older, now you can reattune yourself to to be sensitive again, can't you? Of course, you can. And obviously. You yeah. continued with when, it when you were younger. Yeah, I mean, when, when we're children, we're, we're open. We're very, very open, you know, because we're innocent. And, we, again, it's, you know, somebody put it on there, the, the mind isn't cluttered, yeah. Mm. And and that's one of the main things. And, and spirit spirit helped children anyway more than what they help adults because yeah. it's their early stages, you know, and, and we learn more between the ages of, of one to four. We're, we're constantly learning and learning. We learn more between that age bracket than what we do the rest of our life. And they are the important years, you know. Now, the the gift depletes when we're around 12, 13, and that's yeah. when hormones kick in, okay? Right. And then it comes back when we're around 15, 16, okay? Now, usually around the age of 16 is when our growth starts stopping. It starts coming to a halt, yeah. okay? And, and what my guide says to me on that, I mean, you know, I, I ask my guide everything. As, as So, you know, everybody should do as well. Um... What he's saying is that you, you get it back at that age because everything, again, has started to slow down. So yeah. your growth started to slow down, your hormones are settled, you're more balanced, okay? You've then got that gift from when you're around 15, 16 to around 21, mm -hmm. and you're giving it, you, you sort of got that there then for you to, right, that, this is where I'm going with it. That That's where your choice is then of what you do with that. Okay, right. so you got up to the age of twenty-one, and then it depletes again. Okay, and then it lays it lays dormant. Okay, it doesn't disappear. It's mm -hmm. not took off you. No, it just lays dormant, and then it's up to you then later life what you want to do with that. Again, it's it can be retuned. Right. Okay. Okay. The only pos the only problem with that is it can't be retuned to the, the strength it was. Mm. That's the only problem. Okay. With that. Uh, Skip, to, to your previous question there, I, I think that's more to the fact that the scripts are so bloody obvious, but you never know. <laughs> yeah, he was asking, is that why we know the, know the outcome of the, um, we, of the yeah, program? Yeah, when we watch the show, we know what's going to happen before we it does. We know what's going to happen before it, before <laughs> it does, when I, when I was saying that they're on the same uh, oh, right. frequency. Yeah. 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 So, 
But uh, I'm glad you're all getting involved in this and yeah. asking questions. Uh, health. 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 Yeah, just how much does your health affect your ability to pick up spirit? To pick up spirit. It, it's, it's quite important, you know. If, <laughs> if, if, you, if you're depressive, then, mm. you know, there's, there's no chance, really, to be honest, you know, until you get out of that. You know, and you, you've got to be quite a positive person. Um, yeah. I'm not saying, you know, it, it, it's a no-no, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's a no-win, but what I'm saying is you, your attunement, mm. if you're ill, is a lot less than what it would be if, you, if you're a well person. <laughs> he was buggered then, he says. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, no, uh, what I'm saying is it depends on what's up with you. Yeah, you know? I, I, mean, I mean, I'll give you a for instance. Uh, Suzanne, uh, our Aunt Joan, she's a lovely lady, she's not a depressive, she's quite a happy person, isn't she? Yeah. But she, what she got... That smoking thing to do with the lungs. CDHD, is it, or something? CHPD. CHPD. Oh, CHPD. You know, yeah. CHPD. All right, yeah. CHPD. yeah. 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 That, would that stop her from picking up? I mean, she's not as sensitive anyway. It but wouldn't if she stop was her picking up, okay? Mm. But yeah. she couldn't go into something like physical mediumship or anything like that, obviously, because no. you yeah. couldn't get the breathing. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So about circles so and stuff like that. So her breathing techniques are going to be stopped. Yeah. Well, that's stress. So she's not able to do meditation properly and things like that. So it would, it would deplete some of you you know attunement yeah. if you're stressed out Basically if you're stressed so. out again yeah if you're stressed then you, you shouldn't be doing it right you know right. i mean one of one of the big things for me is if i if i go out socializing and i have mm. a few drinks i mean alcohol is, is a big switch if mm. if if i'd have if i've had a few drinks i'm more open to spirit than what i would yeah. be if i hadn't you know and usually when i go out for a drink i've got a big trail of women behind me all wanting to know what what's the future holds you know so I tried yeah. to go and drink in quiet corners. Yeah. yeah, you got that last one, did you? Yeah, I got that last one. Yeah. I think, I, 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 does that I, mean we got a question yeah. then, Paul? Yeah, I'm the I'm the opposite. If I have a drink, forget it. I've got no chance. <laughs> I've got absolutely nothing. Right, I'm going to um, contact mine host. And they said uh, that, that he's better when he's had a few pints. It, it relaxes you more, to be honest. You know, you've had a few drinks, you relax, yeah. relax you're, more, you're more open right. when you're yeah. rela relaxed. You yeah, know, but, uh, how, but then you got the question is how much is the alcohol and how much is spirit? So um, <laughs> well, again, that's right, okay. down to evidence, isn't it? That's what you tell yeah. people, you know, and if, you, if you're getting evidence from people that you, you're right, then... Okay, right, I've got somebody great on the line excuse for you, Paul. Yeah. Uh, and he said he scared a few people in the pub. <laughs> Neil, I've got somebody on the line. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Right, two seconds. Hi Neil, I feel very attuned with you. I really do feel that uh, you sort of have the same viewpoints on certain things that I do. Yeah. Uh, do you find that there's places at the moment where uh, people of the age of 21, 20s have got nowhere to go to develop and do awareness? Yeah, exactly, exactly. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a big sort of... Um, it's a big bugbear of mine, really. I mean, people... Be, it's not just around people who are 21 it's around people who are between the age of 16 and 21 to be honest yeah you know and they're missing out you know on something that could be so great in the future you know they, they are our future you know our children and and mediumship is growing stronger every generation you know so i, t I totally agree i feel that uh, the snu sort of like uh, uh stifling these new, new people yeah they are and, and the SNU are stuck in their ways, and, and that's why I left them many years ago. Um, you know, don't get me wrong; I'm not against them. You know, some some churches are, are pretty good and they're quite open, but I, I just feel that, yeah, with your viewpoint there, that you know these children are missing out on something that could be so great, and you know something that they could be moving in on. You know, and I've come across children in the past that have asked so many questions. Um, you know about their gift, and, and I feel just you know really really sorry that there's nowhere for them to go. Yeah, so do you think that uh, probably uh, mediums uh, who are into teaching and who are good enough to pass on their skills should be opening uh, their doors to these people? Yes, yes. Um, and it's something that I'm looking at sort of later on this year is opening some workshops for uh, specifically young children, uh, which, which will be beginners, you know. Um, there, there are a lot out there, uh, but the only thing... You know, between the age of 16 and 21, they tend to get a little bit shy in, in owning up to what, what they're seeing and feeling and everything yeah. else. Um, you know, so th there's, there's that problem as well. But I think if, if we put something out there and, and generate, you know, enough sort of advertising 
um, you, you know, and make sure that they know it, 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 it's quite close to everybody on the outside. I think that problem could be resolved. I think. I think also the other problem is with it is when people go to see stand-up shows uh, with mediums, uh, with certain mediums, they're all dressed the same. <laughs> they're doing a platform that, in a spiritual that... church. It's all like the the suit and the, or the yeah. the uh, tie and the white uh, thingy and the trousers. So they're yeah. like they're giving a, giving a business meeting. <laughs> <laughs> so it should be a little bit more probably uh, shall we say pizzazz it, it's to very... draw these young people <laughs> into looking at mediumship as a way of progressing in their lives yeah possibly possibly but I mean you don't want to put too much pizzazz I mean I'm I'm so set against uh, showmanship Yeah. Um, I, I hate showmanship you know and anybody who uses the gift for showmanship I think they should be struck off um, but I mean I, I do my shows I'm usually dressed like somebody out of a boy band sometimes or you know, I, I, I think think that's probably, the, that's you know. probably the best way because it means that you're communicating to them yeah on yeah. a level which they're not feeling intimidated you're not looking yeah at he's very down to earth paul you know and and he doesn't come come over that i am higher looking out looking down on you so to speak you know what i mean yeah. but he says which boy band was that <laughs> But, uh, the small faces. <laughs> but, you know, so th that's the way he's always been, you know, he never comes across as, um, I'm, you know, given that I'm up here, you're down there sort of attitude, you know, you've got to listen to me. Yeah, I think there's, you know, there's got to be more sort of a, an open dialogue between the different ages because they're the future of mediumship yeah. in the next generation. Exactly. Exactly. With this energy change which is happening uh, in 2012, yeah. which is actually happening now, yeah. you're having babies that are being born with more of uh, an awareness and, yeah. and a feeling for spirit and the energies around them. That's right. Where are That's they right. going to go to you know, when they start growing and they're feeling all these different things? Exactly, exactly. And, and it's true what you're saying. And, and See, the thing with the SNU is, well, they're very, very closed and they're very uppity. And, you know, I said earlier on, you know, you get a lot of bitchiness in the churches. And, and they don't like change and, and, you know, they like to peter on the way that they have done for years. You know, so it, it's all wrong, to be honest. And the SNU should be should be changed itself, never mind the changes coming in. But they, they should change themselves. But, um, you know, we should get some some good some good mediums out there should i say yeah that that are into this you know and, and i mean i i am i'm i'm you know I'm, I'm all guns for this um we we do need to get some workshops out there and start getting them in and start getting them trained up and everything else you know and ready for the future yeah well if you want help publicizing it i'll help it in any way i can that, that's great that's brilliant paul i mean i am going to do something later on this year um, I am going to start workshops up, not not just for the young people, but for everybody in, in different kinds of things, um, you know, because everybody needs it. Um, but yeah, it's something I'm going to look at, and, and yeah, if, you, if you're up for it, I'll speak to you. Yeah, okay, no problem at all. Thanks, okay. Paul. All right, leave it to a great show, by the way. Cheers, Paul. Good night. Bye. Bye. So, um, just to recap on some of these questions, yeah. thanks, Paul, for that. Um, uh, we've got um, Nicola. She's come on and s oh, hold on, two six. She's come on and said, "My son's very sensitive. He has voices, senses, things around him uh, all the time. He's fourteen. I'm trying to guide him, although I'm in nursery myself, nursery stage myself, to try and stay more open and, and speak to his guides uh, with his guides." Uh, Ghost Hunter said, "I still turn up." To their services <laughs> and wind them up and say I'm waiting to learn, wanting to learn. Yeah, because they don't like um, it. <laughs> Andy says he likes your suits. Hey. He likes your, likes Neza suits. Who said that, Andy? Andy, yeah. Is Andy turning as well? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you're welcome to one of Ghost Hunters Invest. Um, oh, thanks very much. So there's two tickets left. We're going to go back into that in a sec. Um, uh, okay, well done, Paul. Yep, so that's that on there at the moment. Right, okay. Yeah, so, and, um, and he said that people don't like change. No, they don't like change. No, they don't. No. This is it. Well, um, we're coming to the end of the show. We're going to overrun again. That's my a shame. Life. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to get Neil back on. Um, you're welcome <gasps> to come along. What's to that? Me, but, but naked. But naked. Oh, that's it. Now you've done it again, haven't you? Yeah, it, it would have to be in a very, very black room, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> but there'd be no tie to the chairs. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, 
um, basically... Um, that's true, Paul. Paul, that's true. It's all down to money. All down to it. money. Well said. This is it. So... But uh, yeah. as I say, yeah. Ian said, "No, you you got to go on this, but you can have your clothes on." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, we've come to the end of our show, unfortunately. Um, God, I don't know what's going to happen if I keep running on until ten o'clock. I hope, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm hoping we get some more um, people um, to come through as well, and some more phone calls. Um, as I say, Neil is doing psychic shows. Uh, he can be booked. Um, you can go to his website, which is neilmonley.com, I think. Was that right? That's right. Yeah, that's right. It's been a long time since I've been on it. Or uh, right. I'm on Facebook as well. So and he's also on Facebook. Face- I'm we can on extend Facebook. it soon. <laughs> right, yeah, so, yeah. Um, you know, and... Uh, Paul said we can extend it. Oh, that's fine. Well, we'll end up, we'll end up having the big show, won't we? Like I'd, Steve I'd, right in the afternoon. Well, I, I, can, I can talk the legs off a donkey, so I can go all night. I don't oh, need Pro Plus now. Keep going. Well, well, what we'll do is um, we'll let um, Neil have a drink, and uh, I'll just um, tell you a few things beforehand, okay, for next week. And then we'll come back to Neil, okay? So, uh, yeah. Um, as I say, uh, do you want to help yourself to your drink? I'll yeah, sure. to get me one as well, so uh, I'll just turn you off for a sec. No, you don't have to turn me off, I just, right. just turn myself right down. Yeah, yeah. Steve, um, Neil's going to go out and have a bit of a break and while I just um, get myself a drink. Steve's going to get me a drink, so if you can just bear with us. Um, as I was saying... Um, oh, dear. Are you really enjoying the show? Um, you know, you seem to be. As I say... Um, and <laughs> Steve, Anna still wants a drink. <laughs> Later, guys. Yep. Drink. Anna, uh, Ian said, uh, uh, Andy, uh, uh, Ian said he'll have a tea. Um, but, uh, but yeah, um, see, you lot can come here, you know. Nicola's coming here later on next month. Um, she's coming, she's bringing cake or something, she said last night. So, um, as I say, uh, next week. Um, Yes, next week. Guess who we've got next week? We've got that man again. I don't know. Well, he's not been in before, but uh, he did ring us up on the first show. Definitely. I am Chris Andrews so, uh, from Phase 2 Paranormal in Stockport, and I'm proud in. to be keeping the paranormal friendly, where membership is a smiling face. So, uh, I am Chris Andrews from Phase 2 Paranormal in Stockport and I'm proud to be keeping the paranormal friendly yeah, where Chris membership is a smiling face. Chris will be here next week from uh, Phase, Paranormal, Phase, Paranormal, Phase 2 Paranormal. Oh, he likes getting himself in, doesn't he? I don't know. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, he's going to be telling us about many years of experience had whilst being a paranormal investigator, um, technically he's our granddad <laughs> in a paranormal way because um, the guys that started the, the group we were in um, before we started UK Channel Seekers were in Club Zero and uh, that was um, Chris Andrews. Who's the Can everybody hear me? Uh, see, no, you can't hear see, me. Ian says can't hear you. Hang up. Ah. LOL. Can you hear me? Thanks, Steve, says Andy. <laughs> All right. Let's turn that down, what's going on here. Can now, right. Okay, we'll try again. <laughs> just been chatting away for the last two or three minutes talking oh, to myself. I'm just trying to feel, feel time before Neil comes back. As I said, did you hear Chris? Is it is it paranormal? <laughs> is it paranormal? Chris Andrews will be with us next week. Yeah. Uh, you heard Chris say that he was... Pre- his little soundbite, did you? Say yes or no, Mum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he said, can you put your music back on, so... <laughs> Shut up. Right, OK. So he'll be on next week telling us about his um, experiences over the years that so he's been doing it. And as I say, he's our paranormal granddad. Uh, because he was with a group uh, originally and they were with him and then we were with them and blah de blah and, and we ended up here. <laughs> um, yes, you can't bloody miss it. Oh dear. Miss what? Oh, what can't you miss? <laughs> um, so if you are there and you, you know, you're a group, we want you to come on um, because this is your show as well. Um, 
and we don't get out much so uh, it'd be nice to have some company on a Wednesday night um, come in come be live in the hub with us and people can hopefully ring you and uh, Andy's voiceover and and basically this is what it's all about because we're always open to discuss any area of the paranormal as we learn something new every day I'm getting the hang of this radio bit slowly I'm not so nervous as I was uh, <laughs> but as I say we are um, we are based in Manchester not far from the city stadium and would love to have your company one evening on a we well one Wednesday evening uh, how far from Rotherham oh you're probably talking about a good hour hour and a half maybe um, but we'll give you a cup of coffee yeah. or tea yeah. <laughs> but if well, you are interested then well, please you, email me at admin even if, you, even if you can't be here you can get on the phone with us yeah you can be you don't have to be here to be on the show you can give us a call and we can speak to you for at least an hour and if it runs over the hour then we'll just ring you back and then it won't cost us so much <laughs> or if you've got free calls all night you can ring me <laughs> but uh, but yeah um you don't have to be here on the show you we've got um okay we've got chris coming in next week because he's local um on the night before we go to Brand Castle, um, we've got um, to work out the Skype thing. Uh, yeah. So there's an option yeah. there. We've got to do that with this week. Um, see if we can incorporate that. And we're going to have uh, Natasha on from uh, Manchester Haunted and Andy. They're going to be hopefully talking to us through Skype, telling us what they're doing. That's going to be what I'm going to be calling the hectic show. Because after we finish that night, I'm going to be packing and god knows what else getting ready for my early morning call for a taxi yeah my suitcase Ooh, yes to bran and then when we get back we will be flying in yeah. um, and landing about half past four in the afternoon now we were given the option to miss the show now no disrespect but um to anyone and all i wanted to say is we don't really want to so we'll do as best we can that night because at the end of the day we're making um, some sort of impression here. Mm. You're enjoying it and obviously I don't really want to lose you now that I've got you. Mm. <laughs> well, maybe we, maybe we can get Neil back because unfortunately yeah. Neil can't make it to Brown with us. Not good enough, Sue. <laughs> well, I'm going to let you know all about what happens happen when we go to Brown. And if we get time to run any pictures off, well, I can't see it, but probably for the following week we can sort out some pictures and see what we can find for you. Okay. Um, <laughs> Ian's in our case, apparently. <laughs> so, but yeah, as I say, I don't really want to, you know, regardless on how long the show will be, um, it might be just a chit chat. But um, I think uh, Lauv Paranormal is going to be calling us that, that night. So we will have somebody on the show. So that's not a problem. Um, Lauv Paranormal is now Bomber County. Sorry, Bomber County Paranormal. Uh, please remember that there is the KTPF. If you've got to any events, it's free. Go on there and, you know, you can uh, advertise on there as well. So we've got uh, Neil back. Yay! And uh, find his uh, switch on his mic. And I'll shut up. <laughs> so, anyway, any more questions for Neil? Going back to the um, the shows. Yes, we've got um, we've got a show in um, uh, Morecambe coming yes, up. Yes, Morecambe Winter Gardens. Yes. Twenty uh, fifth of May. What we're doing is um, Neil's doing your psychic show. Yeah. And that's going to cost ten pound. And then if you want to do a mini investigation afterwards, the whole night is going to cost £25. Um, so we're doing a little bit of a, yeah, we're gonna an do some investigation until about 1, yeah. 2 o'clock. Um, but, uh, but as I say, um, we are, um, and then you're back in Liverpool yeah. um, in June. Yeah. So um, uh, that's but at the Millennium. Is it Lee Valley? Millennium Centre. Yeah. yeah. Lee Valley. Yeah. yeah. So um, with all these other things, and you've, and you've also started to do some psychic cafe thingy or something, or you was going to? Yeah, I was going to. Um, I've hit down the head at the moment. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm concentrating on, on other concepts, which I, I don't really want to say on air, but we'll, we'll speak about later. But, uh, um, you know, some of the things is, is what I was talking to Paul on earlier on, you know, and it, it, a lot of it's to do with collaboration. And if we can all collaborate mm. on it, well, then that would be great, you know. Yeah. 
it's not just down to, to one person then. No, this is it. Um, Andy says, when we have done invest, like at Fort Paul and Nottingley, yeah. I had a good feeling a few days before. Could that be my guide or not? It, it could be. Uh, you know, again, it could be just a, a, a good feeling of a place mm. that you're getting, you know. It, it just could be your own mind. Um, but, yeah, it could be. I'm not ruling it out. Yeah. Right, OK. Um, Ian said, tell us. Uh, all I can say is <laughs> watch this space. Watch this space, yeah. <laughs> and and you know it's not about telling you. It's it's collaboration. So everybody's going to get involved, you know. And if you want to be part of that, then then you know we'll. Okay, we'll he said, okay tell let, him. Let's get it. Let's get it all going, you know. But it, it's going to be later on this year. I've got to wait for the right time, you know. My yeah. my guide sorting things out up there as well, which we we need to sort out. And you know I've got to be ready. Um, so you know when it when it comes, we'll you know let's do it. Uh, Sarah and, and uh, Nicola are going into a side venture on the paranormal side. Yeah. Um, is it okay if I give you a ring? Who are you ringing? Neil or me or both or what? <laughs> <laughs> you at Doncaster. Are you at Doncaster? Uh, that's on Saturdays, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Andy and Hannah's at. Yeah. Um, so, uh, did you have a good feel I'm about Neil. it? <laughs> oh, he's, Vinny's asking Andy if he has a good feel about it. Yeah, and Nicola said Neil. And Neil, yeah, Neil. absolutely. Yeah, no problem okay. at all. Um, so, if, if you've got my number. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, as I say, um, Neil, Neil is on at. Uh, is you always you on can put my number up if you want, uh, Steve. Um, You're good. If I you don't know it. if anybody's got oh, it. The phone didn't so I can, so I can get it. Um, well, I'll give you it now if you want. What the mobile? Yeah, you give me a mobile. I'll pick it up off of there. Um, but uh, as I say, it's um, isn't it a pain when they. From the spirit. They, from yeah, the spirit. Uh, it's not a pain, Paul. Well, mate, um, you're going to do it, it, you know, it, I think it's great, you know, and I, I love this. I love anything to do with the paranormal, and and you know, anything that I can pass on to people is, is great stuff. You know, um, the the more people I get out there to teach and and pass on stuff, you know, I I get a good feeling out of that anyway. Um, but but nothing to pain to me. Yeah, as I say, uh, Neil's numbers just gone on on the line um, on the. Um, chat room um if you want to take that paul i know paul might be interested in contacting you again yeah um is it's that it's what happened with the battlefield thing yeah you're coming to that aren't you yes you i am to, yeah you're definitely coming. yeah definitely coming on the battlefield right. yeah <laughs> uh, okay Naked pics will follow. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure you don't uh, send them on the school run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, Neil does have three children. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a lone parent He's as well. He's a lone so parent. I do so, have a lot um, going on at home as well. So. Yeah. So, um, you know, he doesn't just do the paranormal thing, he does the parenting I thing do the as parenting well. parenting thing as well, yeah. So, um, you know. Uh, it's like the old saying, a woman's work is never done, and it's the true thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know this now, do you? Yeah, I do know it now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. <laughs> but uh, as I say, um, so we've got them, and uh, obviously, if anyone wanted to book you for a psychic party. Absolutely, yeah. It's all right doing them, yeah. but as you say, we've been yeah. to some where they've. Um, been a bit rowdy, haven't they? Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna sort of cut short the the, the parties um, in in the next few months. Because um, I need so, to concentrate on other stuff. And um, yeah, we can sit down and yeah, work something absolutely. out and see what we're gonna go with that. Yeah. So, because I, I, I'm, I'm Neil's manager, by the way. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> no. I am Neil's manager, so um, <laughs> I've got the diary. Put you, it that you way. You're unsure there. <laughs> <laughs> um, and his mother, apparently, that's where the apparently psychic comes from. mother, yeah. psychic mother. <laughs> so, um, but uh, but yeah. So, uh, have you enjoyed the show tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Um, I'm hoping that, uh, as I say, um, right. we need to get more people on. I must admit. Um, Steve's even actually contacted John Edward from America to see whether he'd give us a call. But well, I know. thought I'd be cheeky. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see what I'll see what happens. But you never know. We'll see if we can get on the show. Um, I'm hoping that I don't run out right. of sources. Neil. Yes. I've been in transition for I don't know how frigging long. <laughs> <laughs> can you explain, please? The problem, the problem with you, Steve, is it's what you're transitioning into. You know? and, and patience is a virtue, my friend. Yeah, I wish somebody would tell me. <laughs> That's all you get him, my love. But, that's, that's all he ever gives me. You don't have to tell me anything. He's rotten. Well, but, it's, but, it, but can you, can you all, explain all this, t this type of thing? Not, not personal to me, but yeah, the yeah. transition thing for people. Tra transition is... Um, 
I, I went into transition from. Um, I started off as a clairvoyant, um, and I transitioned into the the physical side, which, which was my transition, my personal mm. transition. And it and it takes a hell of a lot to go from that. And it took me five years to transition from clairvoyant to physical. Yeah. So yeah. patience is a virtue. You can't run. If you run, you'll be brought straight back to the start. Mm. So patience is a virtue. Right. And there's there's not a lot that I can tell you because most of it you have to find yourself. Otherwise, you're not learning anything. Right. So for all them people that think they're actually stuck and not getting anywhere, yeah. they're just in transition and, and there's something they've got to learn yeah. before they can move on. A lot of people will, will think, oh, you know, I'm not getting anywhere, I'm stuck. Um, and all that is is spirit putting a stop on things because yeah. either you need to slow down or you're getting something wrong and you need to, to rectify it or you're not listening or you're not getting something right and they will put a stop on there until you actually get it and then they'll move you on. This is it. So... Right. Um, oh, Paul said that... If it's alright for you, he might have you on the on a psychic psychic question time later on in the year. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Whatever that is. Okay. That's that's um, fine. <laughs> well, if you remember, we had Richard Freeman on the other week. Um, I've been invited down to the Weird Weekend. Would you believe to do some interviews with some of the guests that have got down there? Um, and John Downs of um, the Centre of Forty and Zoology. Um, has also offered to come on the show sometime in the future um, to be honest with you guys um, I know we're all that are here are all into the um, paranormal as in uh, you know the, the spiritual <laughs> side of it yeah but um, please remember that this is a big you subject just I just read what Paul wrote. you know this really is a big subject and um, it covers a whole genre of, of different topics so why don't you know have a look and uh, and see what you can you know you, m you might be surprised you know I'm interested in some cryptozoology I'm fascinated to see these these new animals especially when I found out that things like the giraffe was a cryptid and never thought it actually was actually what it was years ago and they thought it was just you know Africans mocking about or f seeing things and and even apes so please please um you know, even UFOs. Vinny surprised me a really lot last week. All these questions he kept asking. I didn't realise he was into ufology like that. But um, as I say, it's all something, you know, that we can actually do. So um, please remember that there is just more out there than spirits, OK? And also the technical side of it as well. Um, you've got Ian out there. He does a lot of uh, that sort of thing. And, um, and that does cover a wide spectrum as well. So... Um, you know, at the end of the day, well done to everyone. Please remember, he's got two tickets as well to um, left for his uh, in-depth techie thing, um, techie in investigation. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm trying to get to it quick because um, I missed it earlier. Um, it's on the 26th of May, 7 p.m. till 2 a.m. Okay. Um, and it's an investigation with Lawrence Paranormal Research. Uh, don't forget you've got uh, a sleepover in an apparently haunted location. So if you are interested, um, 26th of May, £30 per person. And uh, last two places, please email lawrenceparanormalresearch at hotmail.co.uk. And uh, if you go into um, Master Moore, I look forward to seeing you then. Covers cost. You learn how to use the equipment. Neil, do you want do you not want to come? I'll be there. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Nicholas going to. Ian's oh right, okay. <laughs> so um, so yeah um, so don't forget everyone's out there to uh, um, to to try and make it all friendly. So, but for now, I think we should wrap it up. It's, we've been on nearly two and a half hours. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> uh, and. And Neil's got three kids he needs to get back to. Yes, that's correct. So thank you very much for being on the show. Uh, thank you, Neil, for being on the show. Absolutely fine. I'll come on again whenever you want. Definitely, definitely have you back. Um, and uh, I'd just like to say um, thanks a lot for listening, guys. I'd like to wish Neil all um, the best on his future endeavours. Thank you very much. Um, there's quite a few coming up, as you say, and uh, a few I know I, I shall as well. be advertising everything that's that's 
going to be happening and and you know it's about collaboration keeping the paranormal friendly that's the big yeah. the big plus you know and that's what we need to do yeah you know? this is it there's there's plenty out there for everybody um, so. you know so that's what we, we need to get our heads together and, and get all this sorted and, and get yeah. get rid of the the, the, the animosity and everything yeah. um, don't forget we've got the KTPF forum um, and the website we've got all stuff on there you can even put some of your techie stuff on there if you want um, Ian give us something else to think about on there and um, I'll even make a forum for you if you want and uh as I say, you've got Richard Freeman's stuff on there. Um, he's sending me blogs every now and again that I put on. Steve Mira, we'll have a section for him as well because he said I can put some of his stuff on. Everything, just go and have a look, you know, because that's your site as well. I need you to participate. And if you're a um, founder of a group, you can uh, have the um, section of the um, affiliated members where you can see all the locations database as well. So uh, remember that. So... Uh, Thank you to Neil. Thank you very much. Give him a round of applause. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks you for can, listening. Yeah. You can wave to everyone goodbye. <laughs> Okay. Uh, th thanks for everyone who listened. Yeah, thank you. So, and as I say, we'll have back. We'll be back next week, as I say, with Chris Andrews, um, talking about uh, what he's been up to over the past few years with the paranormal stuff. I'd like to thank uh, Spooky Radio for allowing us the platform to do this, um, and uh, and Paul and Ian as well. And uh, we will be putting this on the um, KTPF Paranormal Community Channel uh, for you to listen to again. Listen to again um, on livestream.com forward slash KTPF. We'll bring you all the interesting interviews. I've actually didn't realise, but uh, all the uh, other interviews are on there as well. I thought I'd put them on, but I hadn't. I hadn't done something, clicked something or other. Um, so we, as I get to say, we hope you enjoyed tonight, and uh, we will hope to see you next week. Thanks again for listening. And uh, please remember the KTPF show. Keep the power normal friendly, guys. Yeah, remember today, tomorrow, and every Wednesday night. Good night, everyone. Thank you.